seven. Right now, though, let's get to Yeah Man, No Man. It's time for Yeah Man, No Man. Kind of makes me wonder why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down. Seems like they should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. He's six foot one. Not really. From Florida, Kennesaw State, and gives rapid fire questions. <laughs> Executive producer of the Dukes and Bell Show, Bo Morgan. Brought to you by the W Sauce, America's Worcestershire Sauce. Bigger, better, bolder. Hi, right, Bo. What is going on today, my man? Man, I'm I am very jealous. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Chris, get ready. Beautiful weather outside. It is. <laughs> and by the way, it's cold as chicken blank this weekend because Mike and I. I think you might have played too this weekend. Yeah. Sunday was okay, but Saturday was cold. This weekend, it's going to be cold. We've got warm weather all week. And my neighbor just hit the group thread. I was like, anybody mm. want to get nine in today? Oh! And I'm like, Ugh! Yeah. Because I want to play, and it's beautiful outside. By the way, real quick, walk in the gym this morning. Hey, Bo. Yeah, man. You're right. Springsteen sucks. He's what? overrated. Whatever. Swear. Swear. Yeah, the guy was the guy listening to a Molly Hatchet eight track in his truck. By the way, have, can we get a witness? Can we get just one? Somebody who went to the show and mm. tell us super enjoyable. Uh, uh, right I, here. I, right. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, right here, Chacha. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable seats. Thanks to Bruce, Bruce Hagen. We were up fourth, fourth row. Brinksy was unbelievable. It's when, not your first time seeing him. Of course you that? loved him. I thought you hung out with John Foy these I'll days. I'll do it all. <laughs> do it all. It's not I, your first time seeing him. Of course you yes. loved him. He is your go-to guy. I'm talking to somebody, Bo, who saw Springsteen for the first time and said, this was incredible. It was everything that I could could imagine. Is there anybody out there? Well, I didn't well, go, but I, I can you tell you. You the pay no mind list? <laughs> I think Shapiro was at Springsteen. You've seen him My son, multiple times. My son. Bobby saw it for the first time and he loved it. <laughs> Little Bobby was amazed. Two hours, 45 minutes of amazing Bruce. Yes. The boss. All right. Uh, so Bo is getting confirmation. Tonight in Jungle Land. <laughs> Bo's getting confirmation in the gym that Springsteen isn't any good. Yeah, Steak, you've been struggling the last few days. Rest that voice. I said brother. on John, It's my segment, I, I Steak. Rest your voice. John Foy's shoulder. I had a great view of everything. It was great. Back straight once. <laughs> great solo. All right. <laughs> Well, speaking of uh, the breaking news, um, or strong arm story, Aaron Rodgers went on the Pat McAfee shows he does every week, and he talked about, hey, what his plans are. And he goes, look, um, it's ridiculous for anyone to think that I already know if I'm even going to play next year. That's why it's going to be important to get through this week and take my isolation retreat and contemplate all things my future. Aaron calls this a darkness retreat. Aaron says he'll be in pitch black all day, all, wait for all day and night for four days and nights. It's really sensory deprivation, isolation. Mm. Hello, darkness, it's, my old friend. Uh, Rogers went on to say it stimulates DMT and there can be some hallucinations. Oh, some? No, there will be many because he's taking something. You know, I know what this Nobody is. Nobody sits in the dark, Aaron, for four days. No, that's not true. This is what Casey and Yellowstone did. Remember when he <laughs> sat out in the woods for like five days? Well, hold on. Smoke, smoke peyote and... You're, you're going to reference You're going to reference Yellowstone on this? Yeah, it seems like it's the same line. No, no, I'll take even further back. Remember the movie Altered States? Oh, yeah. With John Hurt? Yeah, yeah. Where he's a scientist and he goes in a sensory deprivation chamber and all freaky things start to happen. Well, again, Aaron Rodgers, again, he's so outside the box now. You know, it's not Sedona and mushrooms and hallucinations and all this stuff. And now he's going to go do his, his like, isolation weekend. Or cleanse. Or yes, cleanse. Yes. Nobody, listen, nobody in their right mind, okay? If you're going on a retreat or a journey or I'm finding myself and I need to go to India, that's great. That's a different deal. Nobody in their right mind closes the door for four days of darkness, Okay. <laughs> Right. I think I'm going to need to find myself in Jamaica for a few right. days. Um, so you guys have fun. I, 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 I got to be honest. I wonder if this is like they say in wrestling at work, and now he's just clowning people with this crap, and it's just total nonsense. Does, he have, just, does he have a new girlfriend? Well, is this blues effect right. on no, him? No, he's, 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 remember he's, uh, he's been talking with the Bucks owner's daughter. Oh, okay. Uh, remember? Uh, That's right. She's the, younger than him. Maybe she's going to be in darkness with him. That, okay. that could be fun. Well, possibly. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I mean, honestly, I mean, who does this? Uh, look, I, I, here's here's um, doofuses and rich people. <laughs> so, Mike got a good question. You got too much time on your hands, yeah. Yeah. Been good. He's going on a vision quest, guys. Yeah. I hate. <laughs> but 
But Mike has a, Mike had asked a great question. Is he just playing into it? I don't think so. What I think mm. is, look, he went to Cal Berkeley. So what's that say? He's a hippie. That's true. So they're a little bit different anyways at Cal Berkeley. So basically, this is the point where he's F you rich, F you famous, and mm. F you good at his job. So now he can let it all hang out. Try to cancel me. You didn't get me canceled over the over the anti-vax stuff. Yeah. You ain't get me canceled when I said I did whatever drug he did last year with his blends and all that stuff. So you're not going to mm. cancel him now. You're going to accept it because I'm a Hall of Fame quarterback who's still top 10 in his job. So here's the thing, and it's an interesting point. It's Dukes and Bell at Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. We're talking to Bo. It's Yeah Man, No Man. Um, the whole cancel thing, Mike, you know I'm not big on it, right? I mean, we all screw up. We all say things. We all do things. I mean, if you are a multiple-time offender, then that's different. But I'm not big on it because there'll be a mistake that you'll make in your life, and if you lose your job and your livelihood, it won't be funny. So with that said, I'm not big on it. But, Bo, maybe you are right. At this point, he just doesn't give a damn. And that's where he's at, and he doesn't care about what we think or anybody else thinks. He doesn't care about the Packers or what they think. He knows, he probably knows he's going to be somewhere else. He probably does. So, and when I say that, I'm talking about the Packers. He, he probably knows. So, Mike, I don't know. I, I just don't. My whole deal is he puts it out there so nonchalantly, like like it's normal. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, I'm going to go home and here's what I'm doing. And it's like, like it's not normal, dude. Yeah, I mean, like the, there's, there's people who are into holistic things, holistic medicine. It's fine. Like if you do you, whatever makes you the best you, I don't care. But again, some of it from the outside, unless we're so, I mean, again, we're, we're the uh, – the unwashed masses were a bunch of idiots. We're not as enlightened as Aaron Rodgers. Because from the outside, looking at it, it sounds asinine. It sounds absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And yeah. most people who have a real job don't have time to go tune out for four days in darkness. That's exactly right. they got to pay a mortgage and get back to work. Well, that's what Bo said. And he's the got, vacation he, is taking the kids to Disney World, and if they're lucky. He's got blank you money, though. That's what Bo's yeah. saying. So he doesn't, he doesn't care. I hear this. Like, what are you, I mean, are you trying to make yourself as unlikable and irre, as totally unrelatable as possible? Because if so, mission accomplished. Uh, he, I just don't think he cares. He's yeah. basically turned into the Tom Cruise of football. <laughs> Where you know he's crazy, but you know he's really good at what he does. So right. you you have to you accept it, and you say, you know what? I don't like I don't like the things. He, maybe I don't like him or whatever, but I'm gonna watch his movies. Right. So uh, whatever. I, I can separate the crazy stuff from the actor, yeah. and I guess people can separate the crazy stuff from the athlete. I mean, it's oh. the same. I guess it's the same thing, right? You can if he plays for your team. Yeah. You know the funny thing. I mean, is, like a Jets fan would give his left nut for his all his crazy nonsense. Hell, I know a couple of Jets fans would give him a colonic right now, Carl. Just to get up there to play for the Jets. <laughs> the, the best. Chris, I'm looking at you, Chris. <laughs> well, bend, bend over. <laughs> Be careful there, Chris. <laughs> the, well, Aaron Aaron has spoken about the cleanses before. I mean, he did go on a punch and car move. That's true. That. Yeah, that's true. But he didn't have a career year afterwards. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, look, the the one, one thing for me that keeps popping up is how his career is winding down, literally identical to how Favre's yeah. did, except for Favre did painkillers, and he does mm. peyote or whatever it is yeah. he does. I don't know. But it's just like, look at how they're winding down, and they're they're dragging it on. Will I play? Will I won't? I've been saying that Will for years about me? Brett it's, Favre. It's, it's, it's history repeating itself. It's, it's true. amazing. It's absolutely amazing the way these two. You can know I, what? Can I ask you something, though, real quick? Yeah. It, is, is, is weed the same thing as peyote? Is, is it the same thing? I did peyote with, you know, the story with Vince. We're going we're gonna to go out in the desert and do peyote. We'll see our dad. Is it the same thing? I never saw anything. I was just paranoid and freaked out. Because I got brothers no. that see things in when they smoke no. weed. I'm well, just asking. I think it depends well, they, on. Well, they're, they're tuning that stuff pretty far <laughs> because there's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on. That, that's a whole new world over that. Oh, it's a whole yeah. new world. Well, Every strain and you, you well, want energy, you're tired. But right. I'm just saying, is it the same thing? I don't know, but I would say how good is it? And how 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 much is a dosage? Because you get a lot of some any a lot of anything makes you gonna see something yeah. different. Like yeah. a lot of alcohol makes you see double, you know. So I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm, well, I'm just uh, one's I'm, like drinking a beer, the other one's like taking a shot. Yeah. And so, is that shots. how you're going to describe right, it? Yeah. yeah, real quick. Carl met my buddy Vince. He's an artist. He worked for Nike. He does a lot of design. Half the stuff you see on Nike, my buddy designed it. We went to high school together. He's great. But he's, he's an artist, so he's wackadoodle. So we were out in the desert. This was the Super like Squid. That was the uh, Eli Manning where they beat the Patriots. And V's out there. Like, hey, man, go out in the desert, and we'll do some peyote. And we'll channel our dads. We'll talk to our father. I'm like, okay. 
Sounds a little kooky, but uh, all right, talk me into it. And we get out there, and I was just paranoid and freaking out in the altered state. Meanwhile, he does. I guess we do it on a regular basis, but me, like everything else, on the human side effects, it was a bad trip. I yeah. was not enjoying my mescaline experience. Okay, so, but I'm smoking, right? It's the right. similar, I'm smoking it, correct? Peyote, well, I'm there's, asking. there's different ways of taking peyote. You can make you have it as a liquid, you can ingest it, okay. there's all sorts of ways you All right, can do so it. that's what I'm asking. All right, yeah. so you could have it as a drink, right. you could smoke it, because right. I've never done it, but I'm just asking. Yeah, well, look, you can turn your mic up. I can't hear you. Please, Bo. There you go. You can you can live your life one of two ways. The way Aaron Rodgers lives his life, you know, or you could live it like Andy Reid. Uh, rock the Tommy Bahama. Eat some cheeseburgers and be happy. It all kicks off soon. That's, that's Andy Reid's motto. So who are you more like? Rock the Tommy Bahama, eat a cheeseburger, and be happy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's simple. I think I want to – that sounds so less complicated than having to sit in the dark for eight days. Listen, I, there's nothing I need – I'm all about meditation. Right. I'm all about the, the spiritual side and of individuals. Right, right. I'm all about that. I'm not – I don't need to be in the dark for five days to, to, to find whatever I'm looking for. I just don't. Well, that, to me, that's depressing. I'm going to come out of there wanting to hurt somebody. I mean, like yeah. five days in the dark? Hey, Chris, look up the movie Altered States because basically you're, it's sensory deprivation. Apparently, uh, you, it unlocks some other things. For Again, I guess if you're in – here's the thing, though. I guess you're going to be predisposed to be picking up the wavelengths and the vibes. I guess. It's like when I went to Sedona, we're out there playing golf, and, and there's some hippie chick. You feeling the you feeling the, the crystals? I'm like, what are you even talking about? So, again, it's like the ghost thing. Go to a house. No, this house is haunted. Really? Oh, I, I don't hear anything. I think people believe in, they buy into this crap, Carl, on some level. And they feel they get something out of it, I suppose. Maybe they've convinced themselves it works. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I My get... experience with this is nothing. I got nothing but well, a hangover. You're just a non-believer, Michael. <laughs> All right. I'll give you something that even Mike believes in. The okay. Fire Shower from W Sauce. It's bigger, better, bolder, and now spicier. Get over to WSauce.com, find a retailer near you. And after you go find your retailer near you, get over to the Georgia Hemp Company, Use the code SQUIDBILLY10, get 10% off your CBD needs. Mm. And, guys, they got some Valentine's Day stuff, so check it out. Now, Turtle, hit my non-hippie music. It's going to be interesting to see where he ends up. We're talking about Aaron Rodgers uh, because that's – Bo was laying out all the things he's done. We'll see. Am I just wired wrong? What do you mean? I don't know. Am I just – because you can relax. and Am I just wired differently? Like the time the the, the stuff – remember the the, the John gave me the stuff, the the friend of ours, and I tried to buy – Ferraris online with, oh, yeah. with the well, edibles? Well, listen, I mean, if you don't do things all the time, it hits you differently. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, somebody gave me some high-octane, high-powered edible stuff, and the next morning I had every Ferrari dealership in America. Apparently I left a voice message, and I, yeah. but I had the clarity to actually type in the VIN number of my car for a trade-in. Well, that's pretty clear. I mean, that's that's pretty clear. <laughs> Maybe that's what Aaron Rodgers gets. I don't know. I don't know.